So chances are if you're saving up for a new GPU, the thought has crossed your mind to wonder if prices will skyrocket up again with the possible release of new GPUs in the future. To first off accurately explain the likelihood of this happening again, we need to examine what caused the last price spike and some very similar events in the past. No, the answer is not miners took all the graphics card, nor is that there's not enough supply or there was not enough supply for everybody. Rather, society turned graphics cards into a fad. A best example is the American gold rushes. This is no history lesson, but in many ways it is nearly identically the same thing. Americans in the 1800s found gold in California, and then later on Alaska. Gold in the story is like crypto. This caused many miners, and yes, this is also directly related to the modern day people, to liquidate all their assets to purchase the equipment to mine. Sound familiar? Back then it was shovels, pans, etc. Now it's GPUs, mining motherboards, and beefy power supplies. This is also why I found it funny. People said that if the mining craze ends, they can always sell their GPUs. When the gold rush ended, the price of a shovel went from 500% to 30% of its original value. This is the same concept we just saw over the last year. The phrase history repeats itself is very accurate. But will we see another mining craze, just like we saw more gold rushes? Well, think of it like this. We know gold is found in hundreds of places across the planet. Two things prevent another gold rush. Society really doesn't approve of investing large sums of money into equipment, especially now that we really know how hard it is to find gold, and the return on investment, or ROI, is almost non-existent with the current situation. So what about these two peop or what about these people who have claimed to have gotten rich off of crypto? Well, they most likely are the small majority. I will also remind you, people who talk the most tend to actually have the least. A few will make it out rich, just like a few suck it rich with gold. But the people that made the most was not a miner, but rather the supplier of resources and tools to those miners. GPU companies and suppliers made large sums of money off of those who thought they could get rich. But even AMD and NVIDIA both said that they did not expect any more mining crazes. But why is that? Well, society for one now has a hatred towards miners as the gamers who wanted to buy a GPU had to wait. And those same gamers got pissed, and I mean really pissed, at every single miner. I personally saw this in the comments of my channel, uh, and as a miner would go down and comment something, a question, and a horde of gamers would attack him just for being a miner. Society also now considers it a waste of money and foolish, just like you're saying you're going to sell your house to go to Alaska to mine gold. People have said cryptocurrency has value like gold, but this is wrong. Gold is a single element that is very unique. Crypto, on the other hand, has thousands of different ver is basically thousands of different versions of Bitcoin. It is like the thousands of different golds with slight differences to the point where you can buy some for practically nothing at all. This would be where Bitcoin is was the original and somebody started photocopying it until nobody wanted it anymore. The second thing is that currently it is too difficult to make any more money back you invest in equipment as prices have stagnated. So nobody except the really foolish want to risk it all, especially after what happened to Bitcoin and its investors. So if crypto won't raise prices again, then what will? Well, demand will. When we do get some new cars released, whenever that may be, the demand for them will be great, just like any next big thing. This will raise prices slightly, around 10%, but this will be temporary and will go away within a month or so. Nothing to the level or length that we saw over the last year. Another factor is RAM suppliers, as they've been hiking up prices ever since the beginning of this year. I doubt they will be much of a problem though, as they have recently got in trouble for raising prices and shouldn't be back at it for a bit. So to answer the question, yes, prices will go up marginally, but nowhere close to what we've had happen this last year. Or unless gamers magically want to go making friends with miners, not like that. But you get the general idea, which I have to say is a long way off. So feel free to save the cards, save up for these cards, and you'll be able to reach it without a problem, without having to worry about prices going up anytime soon. I would also ask if you enjoyed this video, uh, this one took actually a lot of work to make and a lot of planning and trying to do the analogies and stuff. Give the video a like, let me know if, lets me know if my audience really enjoyed it. Also check out my channel for other cool tech related things. And um, check out my Discord in the description if you want to talk with me or a bunch of other tech experts about any tech-related things, computer hardware, anything like that. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.